How's it going everyone? So now that the public beta of iOS 26 is officially released, along with this update, we also got a pleasant surprise because AirPods can now support developer beta updates even if you're on the public beta version of iOS 26, which means AirPods, once you update, so long as you have the second generation AirPod Pros, doesn't matter if it's the USB-C version or the Lightning version, but even the regular AirPods 4 active noise cancellation or non-active noise cancellations are fully supported for this, which will allow these AirPods to take advantage of studio grade microphone recording, as well as camera controls with your AirPods. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through everything new if you install this firmware update on your AirPods, which is extremely easy to do. Now, if you may have noticed, unfortunately, uh, the AirPod Max USB-C or non-USB-C are non-compatible, which is a darn shame. But in order to update these AirPods, you need to go into the developer Apple registration developer page right here and just quickly hit sign up. You just log in with your Apple ID and you're set. It's as easy as that. I'll be sure to have this page linked in the video description down below so you can quickly go in and sign up. Now, from my experience, I have the developer beta firmware for these AirPods, which is exactly the same from the public beta. Just want you to know that once you update this, there's no turning back. You have to go take it to Apple physically for them to downgrade them in case you experience bugs. But from my real world experience, I haven't had any problems whatsoever when it comes to using the developer beta. It's been pretty solid on the AirPods at least. So once you have enrolled, simply just put on your AirPods. Yes, yeah, so I have this case in the description down below for those who are wondering, it's pretty cool. That's like a cool lock and it still supports MagSafe. But getting out of here, you need to go into your iPhone settings on your main settings right here. Double check, make sure your AirPods are connected. Ours was not, so I'm gonna manually select. And now they are connected. So this new tab should pop up with the correct AirPods, not the Max. There we go. And then this new splash screen window will pop up as soon as you connect. And here's where I was telling you about earlier where you could control your camera controls from here. It now has the new ability to pause and play your media when you pass out, as well as gives you charge reminders. So if we get out of here, click on the AirPods, to receive this beta update, you need to scroll down, scroll all the way down to the very bottom. And right here where it says AirPod beta update, click on it, enable it. And that's how you can actually have your AirPods to be ready to accept the beta firmware update. And then afterwards, the only thing you need to do is just put the AirPods back in your case, plug them into a charger and give it like 30 minutes or so. They should automatically start updating. Unfortunately, there's no way to override this to forcefully make these to update. That's the best method that works for me. It's just put them on for 30 seconds, put them back in the case, plug it into power, and hopefully in a minute or two, they begin firmware updating. And then in 30 minutes, it should be completed. That's how I was able to update my firmware on my AirPods. And then down below there is where you'll see Apple analyst data. If you like to share data with Apple, allow them to improve the beta based off your experience, you can always enable it right there, personal preference. I do like having this enabled and just like hit accept on terms and condition because it allows me to actually aid Apple in making some improvements based off my experience from my data numbers and stuff. But once you do that, you're good to verify that you have the version number correct. Click on version and on the very bottom where it says case version, if you see the beta number that reads 3A308B, that's it. That's the formal update, which unlocks a bunch of new abilities. But one thing you need to enable is by going back in your settings and going into the AirPod section, scroll down to camera control. In here, where it says camera remote, this is where you could go in and make sure you have it enabled. You could enable this by a press one on the earbud stem to automatically start recording or take a photo or press and hold to take a photo. So press once, I think that's the best one. So if we launch the camera app, so if we launch the camera app and demonstrate how this works, I'm gonna flip the camera. Actually, here, I'm gonna hold the phone. So here's the phone. I'm gonna use the stem on the AirPod. And then now a little flasher will indicate that we have like a three second timer and then it will take that shot just like so. And you could do the exact same thing for video as well. So if you press on the little, this time I'm gonna flip the camera on the stem on the AirPod and then you rotate your head to hide it, if you're just wearing one AirPod, it immediately started recording, see? And I could end recording by simply just tapping on the stem once. It's a much more quicker way than something like your 
Apple Watch, which if you're on the beta version of on your Apple Watch, Watch OS 26, you'll notice there's a shortcut hint right here. We could just simply tap. It'll automatically launch your smart stack and will give you a quick shortcut to the camera app on your Apple Watch. But as you see how long it takes to load, the AirPods are definitely a quicker way to take a photo than using the Apple Watch. Again, all you need to do is just activate the stem trigger on the AirPod to toggle a shutter. Now real quick, if you've been enjoying this video so far, if you could kindly take two seconds and hit that like button and like that, we truly appreciate it because that allows the channel to be continue to be powered by you guys, the viewers, which is why you don't see integrated brands sponsoring like segments and stuff like that on this channel. So big thank you to those that continue hitting the like button and like really does support the channel and allowing me to continue making videos like this for you guys. Big thank you. Let's carry on. Now, since I am currently wearing the AirPod Pros, the audio quality is said to be improved, but for me personally, I haven't really noticed a difference. Same goes for mic quality. I haven't really noticed a significant improvement as well, but maybe the AirPod 4s receive like a small audio improvement as well as mic improvement. Previously, both of these were always great and fantastic compared to everything else available on the market. They were always heavy hitters compared to more expensive earbuds. So it's hard to really tell if I notice like an improvement in overall sound quality, to be honest. But again, I'm not an audiophile, so that's really hard for me to determine. Let me know in the comments if you notice a difference, but to me, I still think they sound fantastic for their price. But one thing for sure is whenever you're listening to music on Apple Music, this does feature the uh, auto mix transaction, very similar to like a DJ, where it automatically goes to the next track super smooth. Apple Music can now do that, and it works perfectly fine on the pair of AirPods. This one doesn't require you to have the latest firmware update to take advantage of that. And then just like the Apple Watch, whenever you like dock your AirPods MagSafe or physical wire, when your device is fully charged, a little notification will pop up on your device letting you know that your AirPods are fully charged. And if you're somebody who likes using your AirPods to fall asleep to audio, like a podcast or have like a music playlist or watching videos, as an example, movies or YouTube, I notice if your head stopped moving for about 10 minutes, it'll automatically pause the media that you were listening to automatically. So that's pretty cool. Prevents you from accidentally waking yourself up in case the next episode of what you're listening to starts off with a massive explosion. So gone are the days that you'll be waking up by a massive loud explosion if you're watching like a Michael Bay film. But other than that, there you guys have it. That is everything you need to know about the latest version of this beta update that's available for your AirPods. Be sure to stick around because I plan on covering a lot more as well as a full in-depth video of all the newly other added features that Apple did for the AirPods because there's a couple of things that Apple decided to move around. So the layout is slightly different. So I'll be sure to include an update version of that. Anyways, there you guys have it. If you enjoyed, if you could take two seconds, hit that like button to really appreciate those. But if you wish to watch more, maybe you'd like to see the more in-depth tour on what's new on Apple CarPlay, even on the iOS 26 public beta version number one, you can check it out right over there as I go through all the nitty gritty details, as well as some improvements and some useful tools that a lot of people overlooked. Check it out right over there. Thank you so much for watching.